Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. <clears throat> My voice doesn't sound like it, but... I know. Uh, Back same to the cold. challenge yeah. with here in Northern California. We have allergy season that, that is uh, intersecting with flu season. Uh, cold, head colds going around. Yeah, so. got to forget my Everybody's voice. got something. You know, you know, so. But we're going to have a great summer. We are. Um, today. Yes, top of the uh, Today's management competency and how that relates to growing your intentional learning organization. Right. So. Because we have been talking in, uh, in, the, in the past, we're kind of switching subjects here, switch focus, not subjects so much, as focus, um, we're going to focus these next few webinars on the manager area, you know, the, the name manager area, as opposed, we'll also deal with leadership at some point, but um, some differentiation with that, but this is really focused for managers. Yeah, and that last one we did on the team cohesiveness, so, mm -hmm. um, so we can take, take a quick look at how the management competency, you know, the competency of all those managers helps with the learning organization, you know, right. both from the manager's perspective and the would-be manager's perspective and those who are um, uh, following the manager. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, considering being a manager or finding themselves thrust into the uh, manager role because um, all of a sudden, they said, you, okay, you'd be the project leader. So you're kind of a manager um, without necessarily the direct report lines. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. talk about that too, <clears throat> having direct reports and then sort of indirect reports and managing things like projects and, and how that is differentiated from um, managing people where you've got more of a long-term relationship with a defined set of people who have a, a reporting relationship to you. Um, but... At a lot of times, you know, just find ourselves put into sort of management roles in today's matrixed environment. Um, you can all of a sudden find yourself um, uh, leading a team, managing a team relative to uh, some project or initiative. Um, and then you're, because you're a high performer and high potential, so all of a sudden somebody asks you to say, would you lead this project? And it's got these people from these other departments or whatnot in your own department. And then all of a sudden, you know, you've got to show some um, management um, chops there in, the, um, in, in that situation. So we'll be looking a little bit at, at that too. This, this will help um, those of you who are, have been put into that situation or our new supervisors, new managers um, as well. So... We've, we've got a broad audience. Yeah, indeed. Um, that actually reminds me of one of the, the common stories that I talk to folks a lot about. Um, uh, the, I call it the Michael Jordan effect hmm. um, because of the, you know, being a star at what you do, a top contributor to your game. Um, a lot of times people will associate that, uh, that competency of performance at the, at the, the job that you're doing with competency and performance of management. And mm -hmm. Michael Jordan was a, a good example of being top of the game, but when it came to management, um, was relatively disastrous. So <laughs> yeah, we hope to, yeah. to show that there are some, yeah, you know, some things. Uh, to just do. following on that same thing, you know, Larry Bird um, and, and others, uh, now Mike Ditka on the, on the football side, did actually make the transition right. from player to coach right. And, right. And, and did that well. But there are some key skills. Just because you do something really, really well doesn't mean that you're equipped to do the management. There's another set of skills, attitudes, characteristics, and such that need to be brought out and accelerated and emphasized because you're in a different kind of a role um, than when you're an individual contributor, even at the top of your game. Yeah, not, um, I think commonly we think about how a manager is charged also with being a leader and so you've got a, um, a couple of skill sets that are at play, mm -hmm. um, and you can argue one way or the other about how important it is to separate them out, to focus on them individually. Uh, life says that they're gonna be intertwined, so right. we'll try to <laughs> pay that some, some respect, but also isolate those competencies 
both from a, a manager competency perspective, and then also reference how leadership plays a role um, in all of that and how you can incorporate leadership into your, into your management practice. Right, you make a really good point because I've seen a lot of um, blogs and articles and whatnot, and they kind of use management and leadership interchangeably um, as, as a word, as a concept. And um, what we do at Workforce Equanimity, we tease those skill sets out so that we can focus on them, recognizing, as you say, they're going to be intertwined on a practical level, right. you've got to show some leadership characteristics as well as manager characteristics when you're put into that, that kind of a role. And, and that's great. But if you pull them apart first a little bit, then you can, you can, you can focus um, on those and then integrate them, you know, rather than trying to integrate it and put it all under one definition. Yeah, that's true. And I, I see a lot of groups that, um, that will take the role of the manager and identify a laundry list of competencies that mm -hmm. they that they need to be good at um, and individually broken down that that may be true um, I know that we look at four main management competencies that uh, overarch pretty much everything else you know that um, being that the ability to uh, delegate tasks and mm -hmm. all of what all of what that means and, right. and looking at the team and understanding you know myself as a manager what do I need to delegate and how do I select the people to do that um, is really important uh, um, motivating people mm -hmm. uh, which is you know we'll, we'll explore that that that's really that's its own topic that's right? its own topic yeah, yeah. and that it's false to even say that right. um, but it, it's something that they'll ask you to do you know like right. motivate your team right um, and uh, and we'll take a, a deep look at what it means to uh, to have a good motivational environment um, for uh, for good results. Um, and then uh, you really, if your focus is on developing your people, uh, a lot of a lot of the the skill set of a manager rolls up into that. Um, and we'll take a look at and what it means to to develop. And then as a manager. Uh, you're tasked a lot of the time with disseminating some kind of message and you're going to have to manage back up the chain, yeah. um, provide feedback, and and we'll take a look at, at that scope. Yeah, managing up is a whole, yeah. whole other topic that, that uh, we'll get into and explore as well, Yeah, um, which, which is as, as crucial as managing your direct reports and individual contributors is being able to manage up and manage your team. Right. to the to the organization and yeah, being yeah. able to have, have that dialogue so, so that's important and you know I'm, I'm thinking sometimes you know from the standpoint of, of our audience uh, that they may be wondering because we we hit a lot of different sorts of topics mm -hmm. and yet we do have a, an holistic approach you know to our uh, entire model and I've used this in the past, and I and I brought a toy with me here today to, <laughs> to to demonstrate, and and I've got other ones, bigger ones, and multicolor ones, um, but this is a, a good uh, example of what it is uh, that we do. So regardless of the size of the organization, there's all this interconnective tissue, and we may be talking about you know a manager competency here and a leadership competency over here and how this team works together and how to be mindful you know across this whole thing sure. but it's all interconnected you know when we talk about like mindfulness and and we uh, say being intentional uh, being mindful uh, so paying attention to what it is that's going on and then designing your activity whatever that is management, leadership, individual contribution, whatever it is that you're going to do, to do it intentionally, mm -hmm. you know, to, ha to have that intent. But that intent requires mindfulness, right? right. Um, so you have to know what's going on inside of you um, as well as what's going on around in your environment from a mindful perspective in order to be able to then develop an action plan for yourself to be intentional um, about your actions. So we, we call this our intentional learning organization. Right, right. You know, because we believe that all organizations are and should be, should become intentionally 
a learning organization. In other words, everyone is developing wherever they are in the organization. Everyone is developing. And that is by intent. So if you're, you're mindful and you're intentional about growing this organization in this way, you grow each one of the pieces. You grow each one of the people in the organization and then you have an intentional learning organization. By intent, we're going to go do this. And, and that, that's what we mean when we say intentional learning organization. We may reference that as, as we're going along. It's, it's our holistic model. We'll do deep dives into things like we're going to do, you know, for managers like we did for teams. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, I think if, uh, if you're a manager right now, you're aspiring to be a manager or you're in charge of managers, this next uh, series of, of chats that we have um, are going to be really, really impactful and uh, you'll get an idea of what we think about it, um, how it relates to the overall learning organization. Um, and uh, we'll hopefully inspire some, some discussion. So um, if you'd like to uh, comment on what we're talking about today, um, or if you've got some suggestions on what we can talk about in the future, um, go ahead and leave a comment below. Uh, you can also email us, info at workforceeq.com. Check out the website, uh, workforceeq.com. And check us out on other social media channels. Our handle is usually Workforce EQ. And if you want one of these, they sell them on Amazon. <laughs> multiple colors and multiple sizes. Thanks.